Hello, good afternoon. Uh, sorry, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. It okay. me and you better, getting better every day. You're getting better. How do you feel right now? As you can see, I I I am not I am not too hard. Uh, it hurts already, mm -hmm. but it's uh, minus inflamado. Minus uh, minus uh, inflammation. Uh, I don't know how to say inflamado. Swollen. Swollen. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's swollen. swollen. But... And do you do you still feel pain? Yes. Already, I, I have pain I, in my nose, in my nose, in front of my nose, and in the in a part of my eye, the right eye. In the right but, eye. But you, you mentioned that you you are able to see, okay, everything is okay with your eyes, right? Yes, yes, the same guy, yes. And the, the ophthalmologist ophthalmolog, uh, checked to me, and it is everything all right in my eyes. Okay, Thank you. I'm, I'm glad to hear that, Elio. Yes, because you suffered a really a difficult accident and you were really, really bad right at the beginning, the day that happened. But now I see that you're you're getting better. That's that's good. Yes. Thank you very much for asking. <laughs> yes, no problem. Hopefully you're going to get better and better every day. Let's see who else is here. Claudia, Mercy, Jose Francisco, Alejandra. Jose Isaias and Jose Jovito. Thank you for being here on time. I know it's kind of difficult and also that it's a Friday, right? Normally we don't have classes this day, but we need to finish the module and we are going to, um, we will try to do this as uh, like to complete everything and try to help you right with your classes. Remember next week, oh, we have Mother's Day, right? May 10th, el, uh, Dia de las Madres. So remember that we won't have classes that day, but we are going to have classes on Friday, right? So we are going to, to have classes instead of uh, Wednesday. On Wednesday, you will rest. So uh, do you have any questions about um, the platform? Everything is correct. Have you finished or have you progressed with section four? Final exam. Uh, I have a, I, I have a, 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 a trouble in the intact question and the relative clauses in the final exam in the letter C, tag, tag ending. I put all tag ending that it could be, it could be, but it doesn't work with me. The uh, letter C. Uh, letter C, uh-huh. Yes. Okay, letter we're going C. to check right now tag questions. For tag questions, it says read the sentences and add a tag question at the end of each sentence. Yes. No capital letter is needed. Do not forget to add a question mark. For example, in number one, it will be great if some if someone figured out how to eliminate spam, wouldn't it? So if the sentence is in affirmative, the tag question will be in negative, right? And we are yes. going to use the same, right? Would, wouldn't it? It seems like kids spend way too much time playing computer games, doesn't it? Right? It seems. So uh, the negative of it seems is it doesn't seem, right? So it doesn't it, right? Doesn't it? Those infomercials on a TV are so annoying, aren't they? In this case, uh, infomercials are, right? Verb to be. And the tag question is, aren't they? Flyers aren't good for advertising. So since the sentence is in negative, the tag question will be, affirmative or positive, right? Are yes. they? Are they, yes. And the number five is, I hate getting spams. 
don't you, right? Don't you? Because I'm talking to someone else, right? Probably to you, okay. right? Okay. Okay. Yes, I have the idea, mm -hmm. and, and I I and I try, but I don't know what what wrong, because I I write warning wouldn't wouldn't it, but maybe the the apostrophe in my computer is not uh, is not. Uh, so you have them correct. I have in red, everything in red, but I mm -hmm. I put like here, you know, I I write I wrote right here. Mm -hmm. But uh, okay, because I understand the idea, the tag, the tag question, I I know what it, the tag, tag ending means. Mm -hmm. But but maybe my my apostrophe in my computer, in my in my in my screen, in, in my ¿Cómo se dice en la tabla de escribir? Keyboard. Keyboard. The, 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 yeah, is maybe the the apostrophe. It's not right. It's when not write, like the same I... character, but you write the mm -hmm. apostrophe, right? Yes. Mm, okay, yes. let me see if we can do something about that because that is something different, right? And uh, mm -hmm. I will I will send the 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 answers right now so you can check them if they I will send it to to the group. Okay, thank you. And probably if you copy them and you paste them, you will have them correct because you have them okay. correct at the beginning. Okay. So let me see. And if it is not working, I will report it, right? Because you should, you should count, right, the, the, the answers. So you can check right now in, in the WhatsApp group you have the responses for the tag questions and you just need to paste them okay okay and we do it and did you have the same problem with relative clauses in the part two uh, yeah. no no i don't okay Okay, perfect. So uh, the weekend uh, is near, right? Tomorrow is Saturday and Sunday. Probably probably you will have some time to finish uh, these exercises if you haven't. And if you have any problem or any doubt, please let me know with any, right? If, if it is not playing any listening or video, or if it is not showing a reading, let me know. Because sometimes that happens. Today, as Elio was asking, right, we are going to uh, check the tag questions, right? We're going to analyze and read some rules and we are going to practice with tag questions. Also, I added this, um, in, uh, these like examples. Yes, Jose Francisco. Uh, in my case, I would like to check the, the exercise five and let's on four. Exercise five? Lesson four, or oh, section four. Section four, okay. Let's see. Section four, putting the mind to work. And which is the one that you want to check? The knowledge checks led the four point two. Or we have also the four point five, the listening. Yeah, that one. The listening. Yes, I I um okay, and what is the problem? You you were able to listen to to the no. audio? No? I have in my case the the answer I had wrong I had wrote is a small businessman but I'm watching that is the correct answer is a small business owner. Yes, exactly, a small business owner. Yeah, I wrote a small businessman. 
Yes, actually, that those are uh, the, the the responses, right? Architect, small business owner, interior designer. Let me see if there's any other response. Uh, also, small business owner, or he is actually that is the 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 response owner, right? Owner, he is a small business owner, exactly. But I got wrong. I will check it again. Okay. Try to check it and uh, try to write it. And if it is accepting it, we are going to, or if it is not, let me know, right? It says, this is 1.2. It still doesn't work for me. I typed, it's often considered rude to ask someone's age. Yes, actually, some people are still struggling with section one. Uh, aún hay personas que no les sale la sección 1. El... Voy a mandárselas a ver si pueden, porque tendría que salir, ¿verdad? Es el 1.2. Let's see. Porque sometimes is the character. A veces son los caracteres o como dice Leo, el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Es la 3, ¿verdad? Ok, let's see. It's often rude. It's often considered rude to ask someone's age. Okay. So I will send it to you. Try to check if you can copy and paste it and let me know if it works or if it doesn't work. Okay, if, if it doesn't work, um send uh, screenshots manden screenshot ahí al grupo para que también lo podamos reportar any other in questions case, uh -huh. in my case it's it's done right now it's raining no in the in the session in the session for exercise five uh -huh. it's right right now it's correct it's a lot yeah. Okay, perfect. You see, yes, it's, it's sometimes it's, it's like that. It's, it's just the word or the character. It is kind of tricky, the platform. That's why I, I let you do it by yourselves. And then if you have any problem, we can check it. Okay, 10. Okay, you're welcome. Now, there is no more questions about the platform, right? Do we have any other question? No? Okay. So if you, during the weekend you have questions, let me know. Now, I added this to this presentation. Uh, esta presentación se la, voy a pre se la voy a mandar hoy al grupo para que ustedes la tengan si tienen alguna duda o les sirve para después. Entonces, ahí la van a tener. Uh, I added this information about the passive voice and a passive sentence, right? How it is structured and also examples here, right? Because here we have the rules and we have examples. But here, probably you can see it like clearer, right? Uh, for example, the tenses, right? Present simple, present continuous, past simple, past continuous, and how it is done in active and passive. Remember that in passive, we need to use the verb to be and the past participle, right? Siempre tienen que utilizar el verbo to be y el pasado participio. Por ejemplo, en el, en el presente continuo is being, right? Being es el verbo to be y el pasado participio done, ¿verdad? O past continuous, como ya está en pasado, was being, ¿verdad? Was being done. Lo mismo para el presente perfecto. Has been done, right? Has been done. And so on, right? With will, with going, with must, with should, right? We have uh, also with models there. So, and this is like the structure, right? the subject, the verb, and the object, and how they flip or, or interchange, right? Because the object becomes the subject and the subject becomes an agent, right? So just for you to have it, just in case that you need more information about it. Okay, these are some um, connectors. Estos la pueden utilizar en writings when you write something. A, in a paragraph or an essay or a story if you, or if you want to uh, write a presentation 
you can use these connectors, right? Additionally, as a result, for example, furthermore, in fact, nevertheless, and actually we have a lot of connectors and they have different um, different, different uh, use, right? For example, to express our opinions, to disagree, like to provide reasons, right? So we can use different connectors uh, to provide or to add ideas or to contrast ideas. It depends on the meaning of the connectors. But today we are going to check uh, tag questions, right? It says, by the end of this class, participants will know how to use negative and tag questions to give opinions. Negative and tag questions. Let's just look at the end in the platform. That this is the video, right? It says, use negative questions or tag questions to offer an opinion and invite someone to react. So that is the purpose of tag, tag questions. Use the phrase, don't you think, to form negative or tag questions, right? For example, don't you think there are too many websites? It's actually dangerous, don't you think? So don't you think it's a tag question, right? And it can be at the beginning or at the end, right? Normally they go at the end. So this is the information that you have there. Tag questions are added at the end of a sentence. Tag questions are used to make sure there is agreement with one's opinion or to make sure information is correct. That was a great restaurant, wasn't it? The post office is next to the bank, isn't it? The post office isn't next to the bank, is it? So also we use uh, to seek agreement with an opinion. So we have here some information. Actually, this is a reading. If we want to, uh, I'm sorry, if you want to, we can uh, read. Alcanzan a ver la letra? Can you see the letter of the reading? Yes. yes. Yes, okay, perfect. So we are going to read paragraph by paragraph. This is a case, right, about Natalie Wood, right? How did Hollywood actress Natalie Wood die? So this is a um, a crime, right? It says, you were a detective with the Los Angeles Police Department, weren't you? Yes, I was. So we have different, um, different nouns and different options. So we are going to complete this reading. The reading talks about um, how she died, right? How Natalie Wood died. And we have here different vocabulary. For example, we have detectives, evidence, murder, murderer, prove, solve, suspects, victim, and witnesses. So we have here different um like the meaning, right? The definition of the words. For example, police officers who investigate crimes, what is that? Police officers who investigate crimes. Detectives. Detectives, exactly. Uh, people who see something that has happened and then tell others, what is that? A witness. A witness, exactly. Testigo, right? <clears throat> witness, witnesses. A person who is hurt or killed by somebody in a crime. A victim. victim. Victim, exactly, victim. Let's see, a person who plants and kills another person. Murder. Murder, Murder. exactly, murderer, right, murderer the crime of killing a person illegally and deliberately. Suspect. The, the crime of killing a person? The crime of killing a person. El crimen de kill, right? Asesinar a una persona. Murder, right? Murder. Murderer is the person and murder is the crime. Yes, um, yes. The facts, signs, etc. 
that tell you who committed a crime? Evidence. Proof. Evidence, uh -huh, or proof, very good. People who are thought to be guilty of a crime. People who are thought to be guilty of a crime. Suspect. Suspect, exactly. Suspect, suspechosos, right? Yeah. Verb. It says a mystery to find the correct answer to why something happened. To find the correct answer. The evidence. Evidence, probably. But how do you say to find the correct answer, like in, 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 in Espanol, encontrar la respuesta correcta? What is that? Prueba. To prove. Prove. Uh -huh. Or resolver. How do you say resolver in English? Solve. Solve, exactly. Solve. Solve, exactly. And the last one, to use the facts and evidence to show something is true. To prove, right? Probar. To prove. Yes, Probar prove. algo, right? To use the yeah. facts of evidence to show something is true. Perfect. So we are going to use all of these words to complete this reading. Okay, so I need one volunteer to start reading the first paragraph. Uh, me, teacher. Eliu. Okay, uh, go ahead, Eliu. On the call and rainy night on November 29, 1981, the beautiful and talented actress Natalie Wood mysteriously fell off her boat. The splendor and died. She was found the next morning, near, nearly a mile away, floating in the water with bruise and scratches on her body. Continue. Sorry, yes. Uh, do you have any question about this, um, this paragraph? Bruce. Bruises, how do you Bruce's. pronounce bruises? Bruises, yes. bruises, yes. yes. Bruises are marks on your skin, right? Like okay. they are purple, como moretones. Bruises, right? Oh. And scratches, como rasgaduras, rayadas. como rayas, yes, como raspones, right? Scratches on her body. Okay, Elio, choose someone else to read the second paragraph. You will be from more to few okay. others. My friend, Rafa. Okay, Rafael, uh, read from more until few others, please. Maybe it's not Rafa. Let's see. Zulma? Zulma, are you there? <coughs> yes. Okay, Zulma, can you read from more until a few others, please? More than 30 years later, official still haven't been able to... The mystery of Natalie Wood did on the boot with Natalie that night where her husband, actor Robert Guar Wagner and friend, actor Christopher Walken, the captain Dennis Daper, and a few others. Very good, perfect. So here something is missing, right? Uh, what is the word that is missing there? Officials still haven't been able to solve solve, solve. exactly solve. Solve. solve solve the mystery exactly perfect now uh choose someone else Ulma to read from police until room okay Erasmo Perla are you there Erasmo uh, yes teacher okay can you read um, until uh, from 
police know the Wagner and Walking hat until okay. room. She wasn't in her room. But police know what Warner and Walking had an argument early in the evening, but they met, met up and Walking went to bed. Mm -hmm. Police also know that that Good and Warner hang argument. Uh, Good thing went to bed and when Warner went to look in on her letter, she wasn't in her room. Very no good. No one heard. Yeah. yeah, very good. That's okay. Very good. So, uh, very good. So it says she wasn't in her room, right? So she was not there. Okay. It says, no yeah. one heard or saw Natalie fall off the boat. Therefore, okay. there were no, no what? Witnesses. Witnesses. Very good. To say okay. whether her death was a? Accident? There's accident? No. An accident? No. Uh, we murder. can use murder. murder. Exactly. Murder. 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 A, or an accident. Or an accident. Or an accident. In addition, in addition, who were working on the case, who works on the case? Detective. Detectives, exactly. Detective. Detectives who were working on the case at the time were not able to find any solid evidence. Evidence. Very evidence. good. To, to prove. To prove. to prove exactly to prove whether Natalie Wood was pushed to her death from her boat from the boat. Therefore, her death was officially ruled an accident, meaning there was no. No puede subir un poco. No lo vemos. No, no, you cannot see. Suspect. 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 Uh -huh. Suspects for police Suspect. to arrest and put in jail. Now, el último párrafo, the last paragraph. Uh, let's see. Someone else, a volunteer. Alguien que lea el último párrafo. I One can volunteer. try. Okay, go ahead, please. In 2012, a mm -hmm. TV news show investigating Natalie Wood's death brought new information to Los Angeles county officials. The TV news show claimed the bruises and scratches on her body were proof that she was indeed the victim of a murder. Officials had reopened the case and are currently conducting interviews. However, none of the people who were on the boat that night had been officially named as... As? What is the one... Missing. Suspects. Suspects. Uh -huh. Suspects. In? Suspects. Natalie's uh -huh. dead. Continue. Will, L will LA police eventually discover the truth about her death? Only time will tell. Very good. Perfect. Do you have any question about any word here in this reading? Questions? What? What does only time will tell means? Only time will tell. The meaning is like you need to wait for the future and you will find the result, right? In Spanish, okay. it's like uh, el solo tiempo, el tiempo, el tiempo lo dirá. Exactly. Yeah. Only time will tell. Exactly. Thank you, Rafael. Any other question? No, right. What's an interesting reading, right? Because... um. Now they reopened the case like many years from 1981 until 2012 that they are investigating, they're still investigating this, this crime, right? Supposedly. Very good. Thank you. Now we are going to it's check. Sure. Yes. Uh, when I was reading this case, I just remember the case with the nurse that appeared dead on the beach the, I don't Where? know it was this this 
La Libertad. Oh, here, was a there was a nurse. There was a nurse? Hearing, yes, uh, a person who works for El Seguro Social. Mm -hmm. and, and they were to, to the beach and stay with her friends um, about uh, afternoon a Sunday afternoon and then they got drunk and went on a boat and suddenly she disappeared mm -hmm. and nobody saw when she fell into the water and this case is so similar to that case but we haven't know anything about the Salvadorian case no because here is like very difficult right because um, sometimes uh, police officers, they don't investigate that much, right? Or they, they don't have probably the tools to investigate that. Yeah, here is like a, a mystery, right? But yes, that happens and probably it was a crime, right? Probably there is um, a murder outside here in El Salvador. Um, but probably the police will never ca catch this person. But yes, many... There are many cases like this around the world, right? Like uh, some somebody appears suddenly dead, uh, and it seems like uh, a murder, but they need to prove it, right? They need proofs. They need evidence to do that. We are going to check right now, um, and also we are going to practice some of the vocabulary that we find here, right? Let's see, this one, the listening. We are going to listen to an interview, right? It says, it's an interview with a retired police officer who has done a lot of research about Natalie Wood's death. Complete the information about the people who were on the splendor the night Natalie Wood died. So these are the people, right? Uh, Robert Wagner, this is Natalie Wood's husband, right? I guess, according to the the reading yes and also christopher walken he was a friend right christopher walken's natalie wood's friend and movie actor and then there was a dennis daver right the captain yes that was the captain okay so we are going to listen to an interview and we are going to check um tag questions listen to tag questions please let's listen here one detectives two witnesses three victim 5.35 Good morning, and thank you for coming, Mr. Ryan. Or should it be Detective Ryan? You were a detective with the Los Angeles Police Department, weren't you? Yes, that's right. For 25 years. I retired last year. People today are still fascinated by Natalie Wood's death, even though it was more than 30 years ago. That's incredible, isn't it? Well, it's not really that surprising. People are always interested in unsolved mysteries, and Natalie Wood was a well-known and talented actress. Now, to be clear, none of the people on the boat the night Ms. Wood died were or are suspects. But can you tell us who was on the boat that night? That is correct. None of them were or are suspects. But in order to get a better understanding about what happened that night, it is important to know who was on the boat. So the people were her husband, movie and TV actor Robert Wagner, her friend and movie actor Christopher Walken, and the captain of the boat, Dennis Davern. 5.36 Recently... Okay, that was the first part of the interview, right? Were you able to check the tag questions? Were you able to hear the... Yes. Yes, yes, right. What type of question did you hear? Were you? Isn't it uh, 
fue eh, where they where, uh, okay we are going to complete I have it here it says look at four questions from the interview and <clears throat> compare them with the missing words it says you were a detective with the Los Angeles Police Department what is the tag question here in number well, one weren't you weren't you okay weren't like this right weren't you number two that's incredible isn't it isn't it, isn't it? let's see okay and the last one and you don't think they're suspects do you don't you do you? Don't you okay do you don't you don't you or do you don't you <laughs> do you why do you all you because the sentence is in negative don't it, think exactly exactly perfect so don't think they are suspects so if the sentence is in negative the tag question is in positive and if yes. the sentence is uh, affirmative the tag question is negative right very yes. good let's see if it is correct exactly weren't you isn't it do you or didn't didn't uh oh the last one right the, the boat captain changed his story about what happened that night right and is didn't he right didn't he the number four perfect didn't he one was missing so those were tag questions Esas son las tag questions right we use it to confirm information or to ask the other person if it is true what i'm saying or if it is not true okay it says listen and check what's the difference between these questions okay teacher i have a question yes is it a different between uh, a tag ending and tag question? Let me see here. Because tag ending and tag, tag question. Ending, yes, tag ending and tag questions. I guess it's the same, right? Tag ending versus tag questions. That's a very good question if it is the same. Is the same. Is tag ending or tag question is the same? Okay. Thanks. Yes. Like, is this correct or what do you think or what we are using, right? The tag endings or tag question is the same because it's attached, it says. Yeah, very good question. Let's see. So it says uh, pronunciation notes. So when you use tag questions, the pronunciation has a different intonation, right? It says, the usual intonation for a tag question when we say something that we think is right or true and then uh, that we expect the other person to agree with is a falling tone. Examples would include, it's hot today, isn't it? You're French, aren't you? So I'm almost sure you're French, but this is what is modeled on the audio in these exercises. So as you can see, when you use the task, these tag questions, you need to change the pronunciation, right? Weren't you? Isn't it? Do you? Didn't he? So, it says, listen to the second part of the interview and mark sentences if it is true or false. So, we are going to listen to the second part of the interview. And what we have to find out is this. It's possible that Miss Wood was hit before she fell into the water. True or false. The LA County's coroner's office recently changed Natalie Wood's cause of death because of new evidence found in the boat. True or false. Miss Wood was jealous of Mr. Wagner and Mr. Walken's friendship. Mr. Wagner wrote about his wife's death in a book. Mrs. Wood and Mr. Walken acted in a movie together. Mr. Walken has spoken to many people about the night of November 29, 1981. 
the boat captain and Mr. Walken had an argument the night of Mrs. Wood died. The boat captain says he didn't tell the truth in 1981. The detective doesn't want to say how Miss Wood died. And the last one, he doesn't think the mystery will ever be solved. So let's listen to the second part and we are going to check if it is true or false. Let's see. Still are at suspects. And you don't think they're suspects, do you? No, I don't. I don't think any of them can be considered suspects without some kind of convincing evidence. Well, what about Robert Wagner? There are reports that he was jealous of his wife's friendship with Mr. Walken. Well, yes. Mr. Wagner wrote in his book, Pieces of My Heart, that he was jealous... Point Sorry. 36. Okay, this is the, the, the conversation for you to listen and read it, okay? Because I know it's a lot, a lot of information. So you can read it and you can listen to it, okay? I will pay, play it right now. Recently, the L.A. County Coroner's Office re-examined Ms. Wood's cause of death because of some new information about the bruises and scratches that were found on her body the night she died. Yes, that's correct. This new information suggests that Ms. Wood may have been hit or beaten right before she died, and the coroner changed Ms. Wood's original cause of death from accidental drowning to drowning and other undetermined factors. So what does this mean for the other people on the boat? Officially, it doesn't mean anything for them. They still aren't suspects. And you don't think they're suspects, do you? No, I don't. I don't think any of them can be considered suspects without some kind of convincing evidence. Well, what about Robert Wagner? There are reports that he was jealous of his wife's friendship with Mr. Walken. Well, yes. Mr. Wagner wrote in his book, Pieces of My Heart, that he was jealous of the relationship and that he and Mr. Walken argued that night on the boat. But that doesn't make him a suspect. And Christopher Walken, Ms. Wood's friend and co-star? Mr. Walken has remained mostly silent about what happened that night, but he has talked to the police. The boat captain changed his story about what happened that night, didn't he? That he originally lied to police the night Natalie died. Yes, Mr. Davern told a TV news program that he lied about the events of that night. He now says that Mr. Wagner and Ms. Wood had an argument, and that Ms. Wood went missing shortly after. Mr. Davern also claims that Mr. Wagner delayed contacting the police, implying that Mr. Wagner was responsible for Ms. Wood's death. Do you believe the captain's new story? Well, no. I think the timing of his new story is suspicious, since he released it so close to the 30-year anniversary of her death. I think he was looking to make some money by bringing this sad story back into the news. So... What do you think happened that night? I can't tell you, because I don't know. So you don't think we'll ever solve the mystery? No, I wouldn't say that. I think one day the mystery will be solved. Some new evidence will appear, and we'll be able to say that Natalie Wood's mysterious death is finally solved. But right now, it's still a mystery. And people like a good mystery. Okay, were you able to uh, answer the question? Did you did you catch the idea, or do you want to listen to it again? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. <laughs> yes, you want to listen to it again, or do you want to? You have the responses, the true or false responses. Maybe we are ready. You're ready. Okay. Let's see. We're going to guess, right? Number one, it's possible that Miss Wood was hit before she fell into the water. True or false? True. True. Okay. Number she two. 
she uh -huh. could be hit or beaten. He could be hit or beaten. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's a possibility, right? So it's true. Let's say, let's see number two. The LA County coroner's office recently changed Natalie Wood's cause of death because of new evidence found on the boat. True or false? True. True, okay. Number three. Miss Wood was jealous of Mr. Wagner and Mr. Wilkins' friendship. True or false? True. True, True. okay. Four. Mr. Wagner wrote about his wife's death in a book. False. False. Okay. Number five. He wrote, uh -huh. her, her. he wrote about? Her heart. Her heart. Okay. Number six. Her. I'm sorry. Number five. Mrs. Wood and Mr. Walken acted in a movie together. True or false? True. 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 Six. Mr. Walken has spoken to many people about the night of November 29, 1981. False. False. Okay. Seven. The boat captain and Mr. Walken had an argument the night of Mrs. Wood died. True? Or false? Yeah, true. 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 False. False. Okay. Let's see. False. Uh, eight. The boat captain says he didn't tell the truth in 1981. True or false? True. True. Okay. Nine. The detective doesn't want to say how Mrs. Wood died. True. False. True or false? True? Maybe true. Maybe true. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see. He doesn't think the mystery will ever be solved. True or false? False. False, right. Very good. Let's false. see. Yes. Let's see how is our a listening skill. Vamos a ver cómo estamos de listening. Entonces, in number one, you said true. And is true. Very good. Number two, it's false, right? Because new evidence was found on her, on her body. <laughs> number three, you said true and is false. Mr. Wagner was jealous of, jealous of Miss Wood, right? Not Mrs. Wood. So he was jealous of Miss Wood and Mr. Watkins' friendship. Number four, true. Number, you said false. Number five, true. That is correct. Number six, false. Correct. Mr. Walken hasn't spoken to many people about that night. Seven, you said false. Is correct, right? Mr. Wagner and Mr. Walken had an argument. Number eight, true. Correct. Number nine, true. Correct. And number, number 10, F, right? False. He thinks it will be solved one day. Very good. Perfect. So you see, you didn't do that bad, right? It was, there were some mistakes yet yeah, because it was a lot of information. As you can see, it's here, but it was really good. Now, um, to finish this, we have here the information about tag questions, right? Affirmative verb, negative tag, and the opposite, right? Negative verb, affirmative tag. So these are, sorry, tag questions, it says, are often used to check something you already think is true, right? Your name's Maria, isn't it, right? So to form a tag question, we use the correct auxiliary, do, does, be for the present or did for the past or will or won for the future, a pronoun and a negative auxiliary verb in the sentence is if it is affirmative or an affirmative auxiliary verb if the sentence is negative. That is the rule, right? So don't get confused. No se confundan. Cuando sea afirmativo, 
la tag question va a ser negativa. Y cuando la oración sea negativa, la tag question va a ser afirmativa. And we have a lot of examples here. Do you have any questions about tag questions? Preguntas? No questions? Everything's clear? Okay, I think that we, we still have some time. So let's see. For example, we are going to match these phrases, right? It says, you know that man? And we have A, right? Didn't you, right? G. So the first one is, you know that man? Don't you, right? You know that man, don't you? G, so it's letter G. So for number one, for this one, you're going out with him. What is the correct one? What is A, B, C, D, E? Which is the correct tag question? I, are you? I. Are you? Are you? Yes, it's in affirmative, right? So if it, is, if, if it is affirmative, then it will be negative. Aren't you? Very good. You haven't told your family about him. You haven't. Have you? Have, have you? you? Exactly. Have you? Perfect. Next one. You met him last month. It's in past. You met him last month. Didn't you? Didn't hey. you? Very good. Because he's an affirmative. Didn't you? Hey, exactly. You were at the same party. Weren't you? Weren't you? Weren't you? Exactly, F, right? Weren't you? You didn't know he was a criminal. Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Letter C. Letter C, very good. Did you? You aren't happy in that relationship. Are, Are you? you? Are you? Exactly. Ish. Seven, you don't want to see him again. Do, Do you? K. Do you? Exactly, K. Eight, you tell us the truth. Won't you? It's... Will you? Yeah. Won't you? Won't you? Won't you? Exactly, because it's affirmative, right? You'll tell us the truth. Yeah. Won't you? And the number nine, you won't tell any lies. Will you? Will you? Will you? Will you? Very good. You understand what I'm saying. Don't you? Don't you? Exactly. Very good. Don't you? Very good. You see, sometimes it's kind of confusing, but when we practice more and more and more, we're going to have more, uh, we're going to get used to it, right? Now, we're going to go one by one. Ahora uno por uno. Let's see. We are, what we are going to do is just to complete a tag question. Are you, isn't it, right? Depending on the sentence. For example, your name's Jack, isn't it, right? Your name is Jack, isn't it? Now, let's see. A volunteer for number one. Voluntario para la número uno. Me. Jose, Jose, okay. Jose Francisco, read number one with the tag question, please. Your brother works. At the gas station, does he? Doesn't does he? he? Doesn't he? Very good. Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Okay, Jose Francisco, choose one of your classmates. Uh, Claudia Marcela. Claudia Marcela, read number two, please. Uh, they don't have any proof. Do they? Very good, do they? Do they? Very good. Claudia Marcela, choose someone else. Erasmo. Erasmo, read number three, please. Erasmo, are you there? Okay, someone else? Alguien más? Number three? Me. Okay, Rafael. That man isn't the, the murder. Is he? Is he? Very good. Choose someone else, Rafael. 
Eliu. Eliu, number four. You were a witness to the crime, weren't you? Weren't you? Very good. Choose someone else, Eliu. Zulma. Zulma, number five, please. The police have arrested someone. Mm -hmm. Is he? The police have arrested someone. Have arrested. Okay. Uh huh. Haven't they? Haven't they? Right. Haven't. Haven't because it's have right. Haven't they? Very good. So much. Choose someone else. Is Nady? Nady, can you read number six, please? The woman was sent dead. Um, is she? The bo the woman wasn't dead. So is it negative? The woman wasn't dead. Um, didn't. Okay, if it is in negative, is it? Didn't she? The tag question is in affirmative, right? Did she? And but we are using was. Was she? Was she? Exactly, was she? Sorry, was she? Okay, so in the lady, choose someone else. Um, Jose Saias. Jose Saias, can you read number seven, please? Okay, uh, that girl took your bag. Um, and let me check. Yes, that girl took your bag. It's in past and it's affirmative. Um, so the tag question is? Doesn't she? Doesn't she? Doesn't she? Didn't didn't right because it's took right she ah, took okay. exactly didn't she okay jose is i yes choose someone else um jose jovito jose jovito number a please okay number a he wants to go to the prison he's past it's future, right? And it's in negative. He won't go to prison. What is the tag question? Will he? Will, Will he? Very good. Perfect. Okay, Jose Jovito, choose someone else. In Mercy. Mercy, number nine. You haven't seen the suspect. What is the tag question? How are you? Very good. Have you? You haven't seen the suspect, have you? And Mercy, choose someone else, please. The last one. Jancy. Jancy, read number 10, please. Okay, teacher. They didn't have enough evidence. Um, do... Do they? Do they? Do they? Is that correct, Mercy? They didn't have enough evidence, do they? Is that correct? No. What is the correct one, Rafael? Did they? Did, did they? right. Exactly, because in, it's in past. It's time pasado, right? They didn't have enough evidence, did they? Very good. Perfect. Do you have any questions? Uh, if you want to make sure about this, we have here the responses, right? So you can check that everything is correct, right? Everything is correct. So uh, do you have any questions about that questions? Preguntas? Because we need more practice. More, yes, more practice. Actually here in, in this, um, 
in these slides, you have more practice, right? For example, we didn't do we didn't do this exercise. No hicimos este ejercicio. Si quieren lo pueden hacer para que eh, practiquen, verdad? Your last name is Jones, right? And you're 27, and then you can add the tag question, right? And probably on Monday we can check it if you want to. But as you as you already know, uh, this is practice, right? So todo es de practicar. Uh, any other question? No questions? Okay, so I will see you on Monday. Ahorita uh, voy a compartir esta presentación en el grupo para que ustedes la vean, para que ustedes miren. Y luego este, me dicen si tienen preguntas y también de la plataforma, okay? I will see you on Monday at 8 p.m. Have a nice weekend and take care and thank you for being here, okay? Okay. Have a nice night. Okay. Have a nice night. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Bye. Bye, all you. Get better. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. Jose. Bye, James. Me. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, Erasmo. Have a good night.